I think I was just feeling very chaotic that day. When you walk into my house, the first thing you see is the dining room. <laughs> I just love their love. Well, hello, all of you beautiful boho-ish souls. My name is Sheree, and this is Boho-ish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you all can hear my washer and dryer in the background. Today is major laundry day, especially because I didn't keep up with it as per normal this week. Kind of had a, a bit of a, of a rough week. I'm gonna open the front door because I kind of want to let some light in. But this was a week where I had cluster migraines. If any of y'all have ever had migraines, you understand. And then when you have a cluster migraine, where it's day after day after day of migraines coming and going, and that's what I've had. And today, I feel really off, kind of like a migraine <laughs> hangover, where I just feel off. I was gonna film yesterday, I tried, and I ended up getting another migraine and it didn't go away until at some point during the night. What I wanted to do yesterday was to give you a little tour of my living room because we haven't visited my living room in a while and I kinda just wanted to go through the aesthetic of it all. I wanted to show you things that I have acquired here and there and everywhere. And I also wanted to share with you a little bit of my art. I've kind of gotten back to my art. It's been very therapeutic for me. You know, for me, it's not like riding a bike. I just can't pick up where I left off years ago. So, you know, just spending more time really learning color theory and composition and things of that nature. Again, it's been very, very lovely, a very lovely practice for me. And I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you as well. I so. hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope you all are doing well. Let's get into the video, shall we? So excuse the washer and the dryer going in the background, but this is the piece that you saw me working on. And there were several stages after. It's creased, obviously. This is not artist paper. I was, I didn't have anything large. So I used the back of wrapping paper because when you wanna be creative and you don't have the tools, you'll use what you can, but I really, I think the creases are kind of cool. I will stretch it to get the uh, the creases out. Yeah, it's very moody. It's not a conscious thing. It's more of like a subconscious thing <laughs> for me, but I definitely can tell not exactly what's going on in my brain, but if I'm feeling something, it usually comes out on the canvas. I think it turned out pretty cool. When you walk into my house, the first thing you see is the dining room. <laughs> but to the right side, I have this uh, shelving unit where I keep some books and my record player and vinyls and, you know, just little extra covers and things like that. I made those baskets, those three baskets down there. I think this is my all-time favorite photo of my parents. It is just quintessential <laughs> 70s. And I just love their love. I just love their love. They're still lovebirds and they're, they're 77 now. And they are just, yeah, life goals, right? This normally isn't my catch-all. <laughs> 
place but next week I am going to be house sitting for my kiddo and so I have some things here I don't want to forget to take to her as you know any paperbacks that I end up replacing with hardcover go to her because she is um, building up her classical library and then she had asked me to paint a couple of small canvases for her and so these are the ones that I had painted for her. I don't know how, she, I haven't signed them yet because I'm not sure how she's gonna orient them yet. <laughs> she started off and she said, I didn't see this until she texted me and she said, Mom, that one with the circle, she said it kind of looks like a Picasso sad face. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how she's gonna orient them now. I'm not sure. And then here is my dry sink and I keep family photos on there. And I just really like that there. My little gallery wall, which changes from time to time. It's probably gonna change again real soon because I have a couple of pieces of artwork that I want to put in these two, in these two frames. This gallery wall is not just a bunch of pictures that I put together to hang. They, they have very special meaning to me, each of them. As I said before, you know, there's a story behind almost everything in my house. I mean, I could go for hours and hours and I will not put you through that. This top piece here was a gift from my aunt. It came from Italy, and I can't remember the type of art that it's called, but it is an oil under under glass. It's like a bubble, um, like a cabochon type, type shape of glass so that it doesn't lay right on the ink, and I just think it's beautiful. The frame is very, very fragile. Uh, these two pictures here were commissions that my grandparents had. Um, they had commissioned the artist. It's old Williamsburg. They're uh, pencil and watercolor, and I just think they're gorgeous. But I'm going to put them in different matted frames, and then I'm gonna use these frames for a couple of pieces of art that I've done. These cross stitches. I have two oval cross stitches of birds. My Aunt Ruby in Tennessee cross stitched those. And then these two square ones, were cross-stitched by my great-grandmother. Uh, this is the Mississippi River, and then of course these are just bluebirds, but they're just so beautiful. And then this icon was a gift from a friend, and it's just a stunning, stunning icon of Christ, and I just think it is, it's just so beautiful. On this wall, one of my favorite things that I've ever found thrifting, this is Olive the Owl. Olive, because I know, not very original, right? I mean, the owl is beautiful, but the name, I know. She just makes my heart pitter-patter. <laughs> I did have to fix some things. She had come loose at the bottom. I had to, to fix some things on her, but overall, I just I think she's amazing. Hello, baby. Oh, good morning. Well, it's actually afternoon now. Are you enjoying this beautiful day? Mwah, 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 mwah. And y'all, if you saw the earlier video where I wallpapered my dining room wall, I really love how it turned out. I'm very happy with it. And um, it just gives it a little bit of warmth and a little bit of pop of color. I would like to get some sconces for either side of the pink mirror. And then of course, when I did my library refresh, I still haven't taken those books to donations, so I need to do that. There's Ziggy, and there's Vicky, just hanging out. She loves her little blankie. Oh, I heard that, huh? I usually always have some kind of ASMR going. This is the white room the white room on YouTube. I really love what they do. I love their ASMR videos. To the left um, 
is my sofa. I used to have, I know it's shaking, I apologize. I have the shakes today because of those stupid migraines. We had a yellow sofa and um, we gave that to our youngest and we picked this one up. Um, it originally was from Wayfair, but we got it on Facebook Marketplace and we absolutely love it. I feel like this sofa helped ground the room because as you can tell, I have no issues with color. I have color everywhere, very, very bright. And so I think that just kind of neutralized it grounded the living room a little bit. I have the ottoman that I did the DIY on for you guys. I really love this piece. I think it turned out so cute. I know some people were not very thrilled with it, but hey, you know what? Teach his own, right? I love macrame, but I don't have the patience to do a large piece. I don't know, I just, I don't know. Uh, when I have to get into all of the counting and the different types of uh, loop-de-loops and stuff, it just gets overwhelming. So what I did with this was I just basically just used yarn and just braided every other one, put some, some beads on some, not raffia, but you know, jute. And then this came off of a sweater of mine and I thought how cute and that that kind of added to the look of a macrame. So I just glued that on there. If you guys want to learn how to do something simple and quick, like, well, I wouldn't say it's super quick, but something simple like this, let me know. I'll be happy to do a DIY for you. It's just so easy to do and it gives you that whole it's crooked. It gives you the whole feel of having a large macrame piece. Kind of a little hack there. This light we did get off of Amazon. I prefer more dimly lit rooms um, because yes, I do get migraines and I do have a condition called visual snow syndrome. And what happens is bright lights leave huge after images for me for long periods of time. And so it's really difficult. Um, for me to be in a room with bright lights and it does trigger migraines for me. This was great because it just reflects off the back of the wall and it just, and you can have it brighter. There are different settings to it. I just really enjoy it on this setting. This table was my grandmother's. Um, I grew up with it in their home and when I received it, I painted it gray and distressed it. I may strip it and get it back to its original color. But I do enjoy it gray, especially with the gray chair. And I have this here that I don't use too often. I use it for my art. I pull it over to the table and it arches over my artwork when I'm working. And I just think it's super cool and it's great for sewing and all the things. So I really enjoy that. We got that off of Amazon. So these tables, Sean and I found on Facebook Marketplace probably about five years ago, five or six years ago. I just think they're so cool. <laughs> I just, I think they're so cool. They're like nesting tables and I love them as our coffee table and they can be moved around so easily. So I really dig those excuse the basket there. I have a basket there for my quick grab things that I need from time to time. But um, this chair, I did a little DIY vid on it. I recovered it. Um, it was a gift from my aunt and I absolutely love this chair, but the, the uh, cushion needed a change. And so I just covered it in this beautiful, delicious, bright yellow microfiber. This picture, I got a lot of compliments on it when I was filming my Get to Know Me. That picture Sean bought for me many, many years ago. We were actually living in Kansas City and it was a birthday gift. Uh, believe it or not, it only came, it came from like Kirkland's. 
<laughs> Do y'all remember Kirkland's? I don't know, y'all might still have Kirkland's. We don't have it anymore. I don't think. Yeah, he picked that up for me for my birthday. It's called Realms of Love and I absolutely adore it. It did have a gilded gold frame and I painted uh, and distressed it to show a little bit more of my aesthetic. But I just, I think it's so beautiful. It is just stunning absolutely stunning this table here was a birthday gift from my girlfriend Isa and I love it it's a Moroccan table it does it does fall down which I think is pretty cool um, when I'm careful I can hide all of my wires and stuff underneath there but I just didn't mess with it today next to my chair I keep my slow stitch stuff so that I can just reach down grab it and work on it well, when we're just when Sean and I are just sitting in here watching TV or whatever this piece I inherited when we moved into this home and I think it's great it was perfect for a TV to sit on and it stores books and magazines and quilts and games and all of the things and I just think it's pretty. I love the finish on it. This sucker is so heavy. <laughs> That's why Christy and Dale just left it because they were like, nope, it's just too heavy. Do you want it? You can have it. I said, uh, yeah. This painting is very, very special to me. My girlfriend, Ivy, her mother was an artist and she painted this in 1974 oh nope 72 72 and I just I think it's so beautiful just look at that so it hangs right here in a place of honor <laughs> so that I can enjoy it Sean loves that painting too in fact he said to me one day he was just staring at it and he said, I feel like I just can jump into that painting. He says, it just makes me feel. And I thought that was so sweet. This ottoman we found at Goodwill, Sean found it. It was, I think all of 25 bucks. It is all leather. And I just love how distressed it is. So over here, I have my little curiosity cabinet. That was a gift from my aunt as well and this lamp i don't have it on right now because it's just too bright for my eyes at the moment this curiosity cabinet i just put little things in there that mean something to me excuse all the nail holes i've got to patch them there at the top are raven feathers that hamlet and ophelia and horatio and claudius have left me um they leave them right where I feed them and I just I love that and they'll also leave me shiny little rocks from time to time I think that's super cool and then those dogs were next to my bed in my grandparents house growing up and then my grandfather loved birds and he would bird watch all the time. Those are his bird watching glasses in the case that they came in. And that's just an old shoe that was my great grandmother's. It's milk glass. And uh, so I just keep it in here to keep it safe. Yeah, and just other little things here and there that mean something to me, I put up here. Now this, lamp when I when my parents got married when I was four um, if y'all watch the get to know me video you'll you will have learned that my parents married when I was four my dad adopted me we moved into my aunt that I talk about all the time who has gifted me all of these beautiful things uh, we moved into her carriage house and we lived there for about six months before my parents bought their home and this lamp came out of her large home where the carriage house was located and um, she gifted it to me because she said she knew how much I loved that big house that she lived in 
and um, she wanted me to have this lamp. And I'm just so grateful. I need to do something about these, maybe paint them brass color. And I need to replace the shades because they're not original, obviously. They had broken and she just replaced them with just some cheap ones from like Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, I think that they were more of a Tiffany style originally, um, more art deco-y. I'm going to, I'm on the search. <laughs> I'm on the search. I painted them yellow just to have them blend a little better, uh, but I am definitely on the search for some shades. Because I like more dim amber lighting, that is why I took these indoor outdoor lights and strung them up all around. Uh, so that I wouldn't have to have overhead lighting and so I wouldn't have to have lamps that were too bright, kind of softly lights up the room. But overall, this is my living room. And no, I have not wallpapered my back wall in my bedroom yet. All right, fun fact, I actually changed my mind about what wallpaper I wanna use in there. I don't wanna do the brick. I would prefer to have like a white, whitish grayish shiplap look on the back wall so that's why I haven't finished that. So I wanted to show y'all a few pieces that I've been working on if that interests you. So these are some of the things that I've been working on. Again I'm not quite sure how I'm going to orientate them. I really like this one. I think it's going to orientate this way and then this one is called Joy. This one is Out of the Chaos. This one is Beauty for Ashes. The gold and the red, the white, it represents the beauty for me. And then the browns and the deeper tones are more of like the ashes. I really like that one. This one, I think I was just feeling very chaotic that day, Ugh. but you know, hey. This one I don't think I'm finished with yet. I'm still working on it. And this one as well. I'm not quite sure. You know, it's a thing, it's a process. It's like with writing. You know you can always go back and add more. These two, this one's probably, this one might be finished, but this one, is not sitting on it for a while and see how I feel when I come back to it. But these are finished, including the larger one here. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my living room and I appreciate you indulging me <laughs> in sharing some stories of some of the things that mean something to me. If you like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps this channel out a lot. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to boot the bell. Thumbs up and comments go a long way too. And it helps me to get to know you guys as well. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.